Do you accept that it's going to hurt people like pensioners and self-funded retirees who have not got a lot of money? Well, I certainly accept that pensioners will always be better off under Labor. And no, you no, need no, 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 no. Well, you need no, to no. look at what we're doing also, Neil. What we're doing is we're going to maintain... Uh, the system of uh, of the energy supplement that the government's trying to remove. That's all good. What we'll also do, no, we the... won't raise the pension age, this is which a... is what they're going to do as well. Uh, we're against that. Uh, I also accept that, that it is Labor, when we were last in government, had the largest ever increase for pensions in Australia's now, history. Mr Albanese, you're not a spinner. No, I'm Usually, not. Usually, do you accept that people who cannot afford it will be hurt by this? Look, I accept that uh, this will uh, have adverse impacts on some people. Pensioners included. On, on some people, but by and large, the impact is is very much uh, on those people at the top end in terms of, as I said, the figure 50% of this these cash refunds go to... Uh, the ten percent of funds. Well, what about and, the, and, and what look, you, what you, you also have? What Neil? about your unintended consequences? What about your collateral dom- damage? Helen, income of twenty thousand a year, three thousand three hundred. She's going to lose out of that. Brian, um, forty thousand a year. He's losing seven thousand. Uh, self-managed super fund, seventy grand a year, admittedly tax-free. He's losing twenty-seven thousand. That's a couple losing twenty-seven thousand. Well, one of the things these, that, these aren't fat cats, are they? One of the things that we're doing here, Neil, as well, is is clearly flagging it well in advance of the election, well in advance of any legislation going through in terms of people can have certainty in terms of their tax arrangements. Certainty? You're changing the goalposts on what they've set up. No, the goalposts have been changed since this was set up, Neil. That's true, but you're changing this was set up, And that's I'm not saying the other mob's any better. Before this was set up, there wasn't tax-free super for everyone above the age of 60. And that has been a significant change, which is seeing when you can see a tax loophole and every any economist, any serious economist will say this is a tax loophole. We cannot simply afford okay. when we have debt above uh, half a trillion dollars now under, under this government, uh, when we have increased deficits going out, when we have a $6 billion figure from something that began at 500 mil, uh, cost to the budget each year and rising you in the coming it. couple of years to $8 billion. You can't afford it. You well, you, you need to make choices. Government but, is about choices. you're not going to save it. You're going to spend it. You're not going to pay off the deficit. You're not going to put it towards surplus. You're going to well, spend wait, it buying an election. Wait and see what we do, oh, Neil. Will you tell us that you will not spend we this money on we, tax cuts? I'm not here to announce. Funnily enough, Neil, I'm not in a position to announce uh, Labor policy do you, uh, for do we the next election. Except that these people are collateral damage. We will always do more for pensioners and the other mob. So they're going to get compensation? Always. Will I get we compensation? Will, we will always do more for pensioners and the other mob. Will I get compensation for this? Well, I'm not in a position to announce new policy here, Neil, as you know. Uh, but what I will say, as someone who, as you know, grew up in a, in a household that depended upon a, uh, a, a single invalid pensioner, uh, I understand how important uh, pensions are and I understand what it's like to be a battler. Well, and Labor will always stand accept, up for those people. And you do accept, I think, that you are taking money here from pensioners, from self-funded retirees who can't afford it. Well, what I accept is is that these changes are difficult, uh, that they will be... People will have time, though, to work through uh, their arrangements, uh, which is why we're doing it. This isn't the usual course of events, which is you make an announcement on budget night, the legislation's ready uh, that day as part of budget papers and then the changes go through. We're not doing that. We're clearly saying there's an anomaly here that needs fixing this loophole because... uh, But if it's the fat cats, go after the fat cats. Leave the battler alone. That's where most of the money is coming from. Here, in terms of battlers. in terms of this loophole, 